Investigators say it was arson, a deadly fire that claimed the life of a young woman who became trapped in her second story North Portland apartment. And five months later, there are no arrests. Her mother now is pleading for any information to help detectives solve the case. Our Amy Frazier has tonight's Coin 6 Unsolved. I think of Sarah. I think of things that are pink and purple and fluffy and fuzzy. September 1st, 2019, 26-year-old Sarah Oxenrider went to bed happy in her new apartment in North Portland. She sent this text to her mom in Oklahoma. She had just been at her boyfriend's house and met his son. She was very excited. Uh, she, she thought that maybe the boy liked her because they talked about Harry Potter. And Sarah grew up with she and I reading Harry Potter together. In the text, she also writes, Hope you're well, Mom. I love you. It's the last message Leslie Christian would ever get from her daughter. 421 reports of apartment fire north of 3947 North Albina Avenue. Just after 1.30 a.m., firefighters race to Sarah's apartment building. C2's arrived. I've got heavy fire. I've got a two-story uh, apartment. I've got heavy fire. She awoke because she was coughing and the door was hot, the front door. So she knew that she couldn't get out the front door. Sarah called 911. Go ahead, dispatch. Female in number four is still inside, access from the rear. She's filling the bathtub and getting in it. Firefighters went in, determined to rescue Sarah. And then when the roof, which was on fire, fell onto the ceiling, then it all fell down on top of her and she was not conscious again. Man copy, engine 14's got a victim. All companies with emergency traffic, uh, engine 14's bringing out a victim. When the firefighter that, that did rescue her was able to pull her out, um, he commented that, you know, he, he, he could tell that she was very badly hurt. Paramedics rushed Sarah to the Legacy Oregon Burn Center. Later that day, Sarah's mom arrived from Oklahoma. I waited for four days and watch them work on her. During those long days. She didn't look like my daughter. Sarah was in a medically induced coma. Someone had brought up the first Harry Potter, so we were taking turns reading that to her. During that time here at the Burn Center, Sarah's mom found herself surrounded by friends her daughter had made in Portland. Sarah made herself the person that she wanted to be when she went to Portland. Sarah moved to the Rose City in 2016 to build a new life after struggling with mental illness and alcohol addiction. And she did an amazing job. Sarah was four years sober and active in several recovery communities, including the Oxford House program. And did so well there that they had told her she was in line for her own efficiency apartment, uh, which was a couple of weeks before the fire and she had moved in and she was ecstatic. Four days after the fire, Sarah died at the burn center. I can't give her anything anymore. A young, innocent victim in a heinous crime. Our fire investigators realized that it was uh, definitely arson. And then when uh, it was declared that she had died, that became a homicide then. And so that investigation was turned over to uh, Portland police and their detectives. Every night, um, I ask, I ask that the universe help the police find the correct person. Five months later, there are still no arrests in the case, and investigators believe there are people with vital information who haven't shared what they know. We need people to recognize the seriousness of this. Dying in a fire is not a way any of us want to, to spend our last few moments. Let's help Sarah's mom out. Let's, let's help out everybody that risked their lives that day and was affected by what happened that day. If you had any information whatsoever, it would be such a marvelous thing if you could find it in your heart or your soul to bring it forth and help them solve this crime. In North Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Hmm. Quite a heavy plea there. Imagine the peace you could bring to that one family if you have any information.
that could help investigators catch the person who started that fire, be sure to call Portland Police. Remember, this is now a homicide investigation. We have posted more information at coin.com.